Hi folks, uh, it's been a long time since I did brainstorming editorial. I want you to know that uh, I haven't ignored you, but as many of you may have heard, life was taking some rude turns. Uh, we lost my dad a couple days ago. Uh, so many of you responded to what I wrote about that, were kind enough to tell me about your lives and your losses and how you dealt with all that. And the people are important in your lives and it made us feel a little bit a part of your family as well and helped us deal with one of the greatest losses in my life. My wife and I express our great appreciation to all of you for sharing and for being so kind. At the same time, I'm left with a little bit of a, okay, what do I do now? Uh, the last few years have not been kind as my dad became ill as the aviation community uh, started coming apart at the seams, as business became more and more difficult to do, and as the craft of journalism became harder and harder to undertake. It was the perfect storm. And in all that, there were a couple of major battles, things that we felt we had to pursue and had to undertake, no matter the costs, and the costs were high. And that leaves us where we are now. I have this call that comes at least once a year, usually around my birthday, from a fellow by the name of George Kahn. George is the consummate gentleman. He was cheated of a great deal of money by an ultralight manufacturer many years ago. EAA tried to help him, did a little bit of good in that regard, and I thank them to this day for that. He came to us, we tried, we tried hard, we got really bludgeoned, really mistreated, really harassed by the folks that had victimized him. And ultimately we failed. And yet, because we tried and because we showed him somebody else in this industry cared, it forged a friendship that's lasted decades. And while it's been my greatest personal failure that we were not able to get George what he was due, he knew that somebody cared, that there was a community that tried to help him. And that's where I need to go with this. The aviation community is all but fragmented beyond repair. I'm watching things happen that just absolutely disgust me, things that really concern me. We've been victimized ourselves in a number of areas. We've got a lot of bad paper from people who won't pay bills and people who don't care, who got what they wanted and have no problem cheating. We, believe it or not, when we were putting together the memorial service for Bob Hoover in the live stream uh, about a year and a half ago, we had promises made of how to do it and resources that were promised that were not kept. But it was up to us, even when people let us down, to go ahead and perform anyway. There have been a number of other occasions like that. We have performed. We would not let Bob down. We would not let his memory down. We would not let you down. And that's where I'm at now. We're trying not to let you down. Independent media is under attack. The associations, most of them, really don't care for it. It gets in the way of their own financial issues. Uh, any dollar that we raise for from our sponsors, many of them consider uh, that we're cheating them that we're taking dollars from them when in fact they're not earning the dollars they're getting. When you have an association whose air safety group makes excuses for Icon aircraft that make no sense at all to me and certainly not to a lot of other people within the community, and when they won't answer your phone calls and explain their modus operandi, their thinking, I made four or five calls to AOPA's group on this, and nobody would return a call or engage in a dialogue. When we've tried to work out a couple of other things in the past, no dialogue. Many good people who were the heart and soul of the best of AOPA have been tossed aside and they're gone. There are other associations that also don't seem to care much. We're looking now at how we rebuild a community that desperately needs empowerment, desperately needs cooperation, coordination, education and entertainment we we've got to we're in this because we love it and yet 
right now I'm watching fragmentation on a level I've, I've just never seen before. Aviation needs to come together, especially in dissimilar veins. Manned needs to work with and support unmanned. Commercial needs to work with and support recreational. Aerospace needs to work with and support general aviation. We need to come together. Not all of us, it'll never happen that way, but if we get enough, great things can happen. Look at the gun groups. Look at the eco groups. Despite the fact that there's a tremendous amount of political infighting among those groups, they get amazing things done, whether you like them or not, and you know, don't get me started, but they do so because they have learned how to empower their communities, how to engage their communities. We had an idea some time ago. We've been working on it for two years. It's called Aeroverse. It's the next generation of aviation media, and while there's a bunch of great technical stuff and great new live and great capabilities and great toys, and while there's amazing things that can be done in extraordinary programming concepts, the main job behind Aeroverse is to rebuild the community, one aviator at a time. It's not something that'll take place in a year. It's not something that'll take place in two years. But it can have an effect in those years. It can have an effect to start rebuilding the community, finding people who care, engaging with each other, building bridges, educating, and hopefully building a community that's worth a damn, that empowers the rest of us to have a future that not only works for us, but for the kids on the future airport fences, which under, unfortunately from here on out will probably be fringed with barbed wire. Aviation is an extraordinary pursuit. It is one of those things that gives life greater meaning. And yes, we could all be devoting our opportunities and our time to curing cancer or to stopping war or whatever the case may be. If you have that talent, go for it. I, I strongly advise you, but that's not my talent. It's not so, the talent of so many others. But we can build a world in which better things, greater things can happen because the aviators are building a better community that are building tremendous bridges that allow great things to happen in this world and build better lives as a result. Um, we're trying really hard. We're getting hammered. Um, aviation media, as I said, is under attack. We're particularly under attack because, well, we got a big mouth. When the Mini 500 helicopter was hurting people, we spoke out. When David Riggs was buzzing the Santa Monica Pier, engaging in illegal warbird commercial flights, false air combat flights, and a number of other scams, we spoke out. We really got attacked for that one badly. He told us and, and just took great joy in all the ways he thought he could har harass us. He was getting help from Cirrus. He was getting help from two lunatics up in the Northwest. He was getting this. He was getting that. Ultimately, while I think we slowed him down, we didn't stop him. He stopped himself. He got himself killed. He was responsible in part for the deaths of five other people, and he ultimately killed himself and another person with him. There are other things that occurred out there. We picked a huge fight with Cirrus Aircraft simply because they were doing things that were dishonest. They lied to us. We're not selling to China. We're not doing this. We're not doing that. We're not cheating suppliers. And it all turned out to be untrue. So we did our best. We reached out. We tried to get them to tell the truth. And when we explained to them that we were going to print facts and deal with facts, we were attacked. It cost me every penny I had and quite a few pennies I didn't have. Ultimately, what we won, the most important thing, they tried to get us to retract stories, which they knew to be true and even admitted. They tried to get control over our editorial, and we stopped it. And it took everything I had, and to this day, I'm still suffering for something that probably cost us all in all on the order of a half a million, simply to protect our rights and our privilege and responsibility to report to you. So where do we go from here? The fact of the matter is this, I think Aeroverse is worth doing. I think Aero News is important. I think there are things that we have in front of us that are extraordinary. I think we've got good ideas. I think there are people out there that support us and work with us that we know that can help us. But we want you to be a big part of that. 
I need your support. I need a lot of support. I need resources. I need sponsors. I need dialogue. I need to start building better friendships, bigger relationships, greater groups. I need to get more information and dialogue. I need to find a way to build this new organization so that Arrowverse doesn't just inform you, educate you, empower you, but it brings you together. And together, we can be more powerful than ever. We almost lost the ATC privatization fight. The only reason, in my opinion, that we ultimately did was because the fight was so flawed. They wanted to give this whole thing to the airlines. And there are a bunch of idiots in Washington, but they're not that stupid. That ultimately is what defeated it. There's other things out there that are hurting us. There's other ridiculous ideas. Aviation is at the pointy end of the spear. We can all together work better. We'd like to be a part of that. I don't know of anybody with the passion, with the perseverance, with the determination, or frankly, with the track record that we do going forward. There are amazing people out there. I want to work with them all. I'd like to reform a few folks that aren't working that well. But I need your help. I need you to tell sponsors we're worth supporting no matter what Cirrus and the naysayers are trying to attack us for. I need your dialogue, your suggestions, your connections. I need to work with all of you to build a better organization, a stronger organization, better media. And we need to make sure that independent media stays for something. We don't want to see another publication give two editors' choices in a row to Icon for telling the public they've been delivering for years when in fact they hadn't delivered a thing at that point or other lies or other uh, mischaracterizations for lack of a better way to put it. There are so many other little things that hurt us. We need to stop them. We need to build trust. We need to build honor. We need to build responsibility. And we need to do it together. Uh, I realize this is kind of nebulous and all over the place. But I believe in this. I believe in you. I believe in the people that I've had so much dialogue with for many decades now. I desperately want to be an extremely powerful, productive force in this industry to do great things. Not because it makes me look good. I'm not interested in the credit. I am interested in the result. I hope you are too. So for the Aero News Network, Airborne and Aero TV, let me leave you with this. Aero News has served you for over 20 years, 360,000 stories, 7,000 podcasts, four or 5,000 Aero TV, 12, 1,400, whatever it is, airborne episodes. There's so much more we could be doing if we weren't being interfered with, if we weren't being harassed, if we weren't being attacked, and if we just had a little bit of help here and there. I love what I'm doing. I care very much about the people in it, and I care very much about you. There isn't a week that goes past where I don't get a call. Hey, Jim, can you help me with this? This airport's treating me wrong. The FAA's uh, ridiculous hotline is screwing me over. This is happening. That's happening. Folks, I'll give you every second I have. I need to sleep mm, six or so hours a night. The rest of it's all yours. But if you want me and if you want the great people who work with me to serve you better and do greater things, now's the time to join us. However you do it, help us find our sponsors, help us build resources, help us build communications. Tell the associations that independent media, at least credible, honest, ethical independent media matters. And we'll be here for you as long as we can. Thank you all. God bless. And once again, thank you for all your concern and care over the last couple of weeks. It's made a difference to us. Now let us make a difference to you even more. Aero TV is brought to you by There's a difference between charting a steady course 
and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.